Good day, everyone. Bruce Stetter, Chair of your ACBSP of Board of Directors here with another in my ongoing video updates designed to keep you, the association members, abreast of what's happening in our organization. Fall is upon us now, and that means that all of you are back in the classroom, be it face-to-face -face or online. And it means that we here at ACSP are deep in our work and initiatives for this year. In an effort to keep the business of the association moving, your Board of Directors met for two days, three days at or three hours a day on both the September the 17th and 18th. The board had been scheduled to meet in person in Kansas City, but after pulling the board and being very mindful, as always, of the health and safety of our head office staff and volunteer leaders, we made the decision to hold the meetings virtually. The board had a great set of meetings with some excellent discussions and a high level of engagement by all board members. As your chair, I reported to the board on a number of initi initiatives that we have underway and also asked them to approve some new motions. The board approved the new BOD handbook that was designed under Chairman Wong's tenure, which they did. And I then requested that the board approve the new mission, vision, and value statements for the organization that were again designed under Chairman Wong's tenure, which they did. Report, I then reported out on plans to hold a joint ACBSP IACB webinar on, a bit, on business as a force for good, which will happen sometime in November. The ongoing work to set up the first ever ACBSP virtual mid-year forum and on the excellent work being done by the Diversity, Equality and Inclusion Task Force. Your chair-elect Debbie Gaspard then reported out on her work in planning the ACBSP's first ever Women's Global Academic Leadership Forum set to occur in the fall of 2021. The board also heard reports from the AGB, the Baccarat Board of Commissioners, and the Associate Degree Board of Commissioners. Remember, the two accreditation boards will be holding their fall meetings in November, where they will make accreditation decisions on self-studies and QARs submitted to them since the summer. Your board treasurer, along with Mary Riley and, Riley and Jeff Holderman from head office, reported out on the financial status of ACBSP, and I'm proud to say that we continue to be in a solid financial position. The 2020-2021 membership due cycle, while delayed by the board to help out UR institutions in light of the COVID-19 situation, is progressing well and is in line with previous years in terms of dues collected. The board then re heard reports from its nine standing committees all of whom are doing great work in keeping the association moving forward on a number of fronts. We then finished up the meeting with an open forum discussion. All in all, this was a very successful board meeting and one in which we did a lot to further our initiatives through the year. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank the members of the board of directors for their hard work, dedication, and collaboration in keeping the business of the organization going. The board is set to meet again in November for two additional days and I will be back at that time with another update from the board. In the meantime, please stay safe, stay healthy, and keep up the wonderful work that you do every day to transform student lives and use business as force for good in the world. Thank you.